You know this expression, or you may have heard of it in life. Let things play out. Let a situation play out where this is meant to tell ourselves or to tell somebody else not to prematurely imagine, predict, or believe a particular unfavorable outcome in our minds before the outcome actually happens in reality. We have done this plenty of times throughout our life in many and various situations. But oh, how things can take a mighty turn when we do actually play things out or play a situation out, whether through our own patience or our own action or a combination of both. And sometimes things actually turn out for the better than what we prematurely imagined. That's the beauty of life. This expression can't be more truer from where you are right now on academic probation. You're still physically in law school. You're still in the game of the semester. The final outcome has not been determined yet. And to say to yourself right now or to think or believe that you don't have the ability or that you don't have what it takes to pull off the performance outcomes you desire come exam time again, it's nonsense to me. You can and will turn this around for the better. With this, let's take inspiration from the great champion women tennis player Serena Williams, where in this particular match that you and I are about to watch together, she embodied this concept, expression, playing it out all the way to the end of her match to pull off an incredible comeback win. So let's get into it. Let me pull this up for you. Watch this together. So just to give you some context around this match, I'm not a tennis guru, but this match is from 2003, Australia Open semifinal between Serena Williams and Kim Clijsters. I hope I said that right. Serena has a lot of comeback wins throughout her career. I know this is super old, but I had to just pick one randomly. And as you see, the title of the video, Queen of the Comeback, part one. So you know it's real, but this is you right now. Queen of the comeback, king of the comeback. Let's go. But with this, in this match, the game was three sets, and this is the final set in the third set. Serena won the second set, and Kim won the first set. So this is the final set. This is for everything. And Serena is down five to one. They play games up to six, best out of six. And she was down five one. She could have easily said, oh, what the hell? Just, ah, just stop playing, ah, I already lost. But no, we're about to see the true heart of a champion, what you are right here through this game. Nothing different. Here we go. So I'm gonna do a little bit of my commentating while you may hear the commentators in the background. You see Serena, she didn't get it over the net. So it's 4-1 right now in this final set. Boom, didn't get it over it again. Four straight points for her. You hear the commentator saying that she's stumbling. One game away. One game away. The second Grand Slam final. All she needs is one. Kim all needs one to seal this deal. And it's over. Five down now into the final set. The fighting qualities have never come more into question than right now, Serena Williams. You hear the commentator? Her fighting qualities have not come more into question than right now. The Grand Slam alive. Is she ready to fight? As you see, let the comeback begin. She has to go on a super rally. And is she thinking about, oh, you know, 
oh, don't mess up, don't mess up. If I lose, if I lose. No, of course, I'm not in her head. But the point I'm trying to make here is that she's in the moment. She has extreme presence of mind. And she's just executing, trusting herself, trusting her skills that she's developed time and time again over years. She is ready for these moments. She's not concerned about, oh my God, oh, she's not melting down. Has she had meltdowns during games? Of course. But we know Serena for her comeback wins more than we know her for her meltdowns. So let's get that straight. But as we continue watching, you're going to see in a row, she's going to go on this roll, this momentum where Kim can't do nothing about it. But that's the same thing with you in the semester. Yes, it's a longer semester than this tennis match. It's going to be a day-by-day thing because it's a 15 to 17 week semester, but it's day by day. As you see, like Kim just made a mistake. Her family in the crowd clapping like, <laughs> watch her come back. Just imagine your family, just imagine me in the crowd right now, in your semester like, oh man. You're about to make strength come back. They don't know who you are. They don't know. Watch, don't believe, just watch. This is you, right here. See, it's tied up. 5-5. Five, five. She caught up. Ugh. Woo! Look at that. Kim messed up. Kim is worrying about losing. She's worrying about making a mistake. She, she's out of her game. Now Serena. Serena is... is in the zone, she's, she's focused. She ain't worried about that. She's playing to win. She's playing to win at all costs. At all costs. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. She got another opportunity. In the game, she not, oh my God, this and that. In the game, focus, self-talk. Let's go, let's go. Stay in the game, stay in the game. Cool-headed. Let's go. Uh. Let's go. Yeah! It's over. It's over. Look at that com comeback. The commentator said, you climb the mountains. You learn a lot about yourself. Woo! And maybe has learned a little more about herself, but has shown more importantly to everybody around the world what a great champion she is. Sensational, baby. Sensational. This is you. This is nothing different. Just wanted to give you that illustration that you can parallel this to life and even to the semester where don't prematurely think about oh my god it's, 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 it's over no in the moment your behaviors your habits your belief day by day you can get better you can improve and when you get to the exams <laughs> blow them out the water baby you can turn this around you can come back. You can remain in law school. All the inspiration is on YouTube. Not only Serena, but so many other stories. But you're that story too. So let's make that possible. Let's go. Stay with it. And you already know, stay relentless. Stay in the game.